It's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide and today's beer is a beer from the Limestone Brewery and it's a bottle of the Einstein English Ale coming in at 5% ABV. This one's got a combination of Herzbrugger German hops, English pale malt, so it's a bit of a Einstein thinking man's beer. Let's get the beer open into a glass and see what we get. It's a plain silver cap. Bit of smoke on the opening, using the limestone brewery glass, but the beer was actually sent to me by bestofbritishbeer.co.uk, so check out their website, check out their beers, or their selection of beers. Beer pouring out then is a light golden, almost laggery coloured beer. Nice Carbonation fizzing away in the glass, a slight haze to it. It's a white head, it's one finger, it's nice and white and fluffy. Let's get a nose on the beer then. Oh, and it, it smells like a German lager, a quality German lager, and that's the hops that's in there, them, them Herzberger hops. But as well as that, You've got a really nice malty kind of sweet nose to it, bready nose. Time to dig into this one then. Cheers everyone. Oh yeah. Now that is really refreshing. 5% ABV, fresh, quaffable. Really quite hoppy. It's a nice, it's a, not a big massive ramped up bitterness, it's kind of like a, a nice dulling bitterness that really kind of, it does grow towards the end of the palate, it does produce a lovely lager German bitterness. It's definitely, definitely gives you a kind of a, it's, it's a, definitely an ale but it could very well in your mind be a good quality lager as well. It's almost got that stingy nettle aspect to the taste. Like a nettly, hoppy bitterness, but with a really nice biscuit malt up front. Biscuit bready sweet malt. This is a really, really good beer. <clears throat> nice amounts of carbonation fizzing away there. It's a, but the thing that impresses me is this, it's a biting malt. It's a very bitter, biting malt. But it's, it's not massively tropical. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a sensation more than a huge kind of taste. It's a bitter sensation, but it's good, it's, it's satisfying. You want more of it. Hints of lemon. Hints of, hints of almost, I had dandelion and burdock as a kid, it's like a hint of dandelion in it, like a nettily, very organic kind of taste. A very refreshing, that, that's the word for this beer, it's not overly carbonated, I've, I've cooled it down slightly, it's full of flavour and it's very refreshing. Okay, Limestone Brewery, I was a small independent brewery in Staffordshire with a long and proud history of brewing proper beer. Limestone Brewery uses only the finest ingredients and these years of experience to present this beer for your enjoyment www.limestonebrewery.co.uk Check them out. Email them at info at limestonebrewery.co.uk And this is the Einstein beer description. It's this sophisticated combination of pale English malts and choice German hops may take you... may make you pause for thought. Sorry. First, gentle biscuit malts, then fresh Herzberger hops, educate and enlighten the palate. This Affable, quaffable ale is deeply satisfying, good choice. 
Yeah, it is really one of them. It's, they call it Einstein. They call it Einstein for a reason. It is a thinking man's drink. Um, as I said, you can either you can split this in your mind if you want. You can either go bang, okay, this is this is a bready multi English ale, or you could go right. This is a really kind of you could cool this down. It's it's a good quality German lager. You can split it, or if you've got a really sophisticated palate, and I think a lot of people have watching this program, then you can kind of isolate the, the, that sweet malt and then bring in the hops and you can do all sorts of different things with your mind with this beer. Okay, Limestone Breweries, Einstein. For me, I like it. I really do. It's refreshing. You could have it on a cold winter's night, a little bit warmer, bring out all that biscuitiness. Um, but for me, I'd like to, I probably want a few of these in the summer next to a barbecue, boiling hot day, or if I've cut the grass, that kind of refreshing, kind of better than a, a so-called premium lager. Definitely go for that over that over a premium lager. Um, or a supermarket premium lager, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Check out Limestones, Einstein, either from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk or Einstone Brewery, limestonebrewery.co.uk I'm sure they'll have an online shop to order. Thanks for watching me, the Real Guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.